Why, hello, my little creepers. I see you're back again for another down and twisted tale of loopy insanity. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige, because there's a tale that's been dying to continue. Or maybe I should say, undying to continue? <laughs> uh, she is rather impatient, you know? So, I think it's time to check in with our favorite gunslinging deathbringer, huh? Tonight, we speak the language of bullets. It's time for Murder Girl Part 4. Okay, Mercy, you wait right here. I'll be right back, okay? Alright, Mercy. Just hang in there a little longer, okay? I'm gonna get you to the lab and we're gonna fix you right up. All right. Mercy? Mercy, are you, are you okay? No, Patrick, I'm pretty fucking far from okay. Yes, we're anxiously awaiting your arrival. We're all ready to go. We'll look forward to doing business with you. Okay, Obsidian, tomorrow night the Koreans will be here with the money. As soon as we exchange packages, the helicopter will take you, me, and Robin out of here, and then we'll never have to look at this place again. All we have to do is survive until then. Yeah, well, I'm counting on you for that. Angel, there's a man out here who wants to talk to you. He said he found her. Send him in. How you feeling? Fucked up. Whose arm is this? I'm not sure. I'm made up from body parts of my enemies. I'm not even sure where I stop and where I begin anymore. What the fuck am I, Patrick? Oh, you're Mercy. You're my sister. Your brain is the same. Your, your soul is the same. This is just a shell. Well, you really outdone yourself this time, brother. I didn't think you were coming back this time. What the fuck happened in that warehouse? Shoved a grenade in a motherfucker's face while I was still holding on to it. It was stupid. I got cocky. I got so caught up in not being able to die, I got careless. It won't happen again. I thought you were going to destroy all your equipment. I was going to, but I had a feeling I was going to need it. I don't agree with what you're doing. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I do know there has to be some kind of punishment for what happened to you. And I guess this is the only way it's going to happen. I have two more left, Pat. Angel and her bodyguard. And if the intel I got before they killed me was right, they're leaving town really fucking soon. Holy shit, Patrick, down! Well, well, well. What do we have here? Where are you? Where is the woman who has been killing off my family? I'm right here, fucker! You let him go now and I'll come out. Let him go! Let him go? But he is so pretty. 
I think I'm going to keep him. The things I can do to him. The fun we could have. <laughs> it's not him you want, it's me. I'm the one that murdered your buddies. Oh, don't worry. We have him. We have you right where we want you. Now watch this, woman. You watch and learn. Know what it's like to lose those you care about. No! Kill them all! Huh, <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Yeah, I thought this chick was supposed to be some kind of fucking badass. You just killed the last thing I ever loved. The last thing I ever cared about! What are you? Why won't you die? I continually find it extremely insulting that not one of you fucktards remember killing me. The woman detective? The cop who was going to arrest us? No more arresting, no more rights. No jury, no judge, just you and me and blood and death. As much as I would like to give you a chance at your vengeance, I cannot risk losing here. I cannot risk putting Angel at risk. So, sorry zombie policewoman. Your vengeance ends now. I do not know if you're dead, but if you're still alive, next time I see you, we will hash it out, and we'll see if you deserve your revenge or not. Is she dead? That's a hard question to answer. I'm on my way back now. Keep everyone on guard. We're almost done, Angel. Almost done. Looks like a nice little typical suburban house, right? Well, it's not. Vampire lives there. Now I'm gonna kill it. <laughs>